Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Yasmin Ibrahim. Upon the directives of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Championship for Local Production for the Beauty of Purebred Arabian Horses competition continues at the Military Sports Union Field in Rafah. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for all the efforts exerted by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and the Beauty of Purebred Arabian Horses Committee to preserve the status of the original heritage in the sports of the Beauty of Purebred Arabian Horses. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed to continue to support the sports in line with the vision of His Majesty the King as it represents an important aspect of Bahrain's history and heritage. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also noted that the Bahrain Championship for Local Production is among the distinguished competitions organized by the Federation as it enjoys great care from owners, breeders and stables, especially as it is the right place that they see appropriate to highlight their abilities and talents in breeding and producing Arabian. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the Arabian Horse Beauty Championships are clearly developing in the level of production and performances, reflecting the efforts of the Royal Federation in continuing to achieve the desired goals through supporting stables and owners in the kingdom. His Highness noted that this championship reflects the capabilities of Bahraini local production of purebred Arabian horses. A number of outstanding performances and shows were held in which the exhibitors were able to highlight the features and beauty of the horses amidst distinguished applauds from the audience. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the final day of the Saudi Cup for Horse Racing held at the King Abdul Aziz Field in Riyadh, in which a number of Bahraini stables participated. Sheikh Isa bin Salman asserted that Bahrain is greatly interested in developing the horse racing sector by strengthening regional and international participation, in addition to achieving the aspired successes in a way that enhances the kingdom status in this sector. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman pointed to the care and support of His Majesty the King to the sports and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness praised the continuous excellence that the Saudi Cup for Horse Racing achieves year after year, praising the particip participation of Bahraini stables in the competition, which reflects the national competencies and expertise that the kingdom processes, which in turn enhances its status in the field of equestrian and horse racing. His Highness Sheikh Isa praised the efforts made by the distinguished organization at all levels of the Saudi Cup congratulating the first place winners, wishing the best of luck for the rest of the participants in the upcoming races. His Highness expressed his wishes for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to achieve further pioneering levels in the field of horses and equestrian, praising Riyadh's global successes during the past editions. His Highness also lauded the great efforts made by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the High Equestrian Commission and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Horse Racing Club in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Bender bin Khalid Al Faisal, to develop this sector in the Kingdom and the region.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where a draft law regarding insurance against unemployment was approved. The council then approved a draft law regarding the Organization for the Development of Women in the GCC countries of the Organization of the Islamic Conference. The council then rejected a draft law regarding cancelling Topic 1 of Article 6 regarding insurance against unemployment. Under the patronage of Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buinain the Special Investigation Unit organized an online regional conference on the effective role of the national institutions in protecting and promoting human rights in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program and the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies. The event was held in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid al zayani the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Acting Residence Coordinator of UN Activities in Bahrain, Mohammed Al Zarqani, and heads and members of the national bodies concerned with the protection of human rights. The conference marks the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the Special Investigation Unit as an independent judicial body. In his opening speech to the conference, the Attorney General affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is rich in pioneering development and human rights achievements in ensuring human rights and public freedoms and that the national mechanisms concerned with the protection of human rights have become one of the foundations of national action to create an integrated human rights system that works on the rule of law and ensures accountability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed that the reform approach of His Majesty the King is based on consolidating the respect and protection of human rights, strengthening the democratic process and continuing the state's comprehensive develop development for the benefit of citizens and residents in various fields. He added that the economic, social, cultural development and complementary role played by the national mechanisms concerned with the protection of human rights in cooperation with the various official state agencies is the cornerstone for promoting a culture of protection and respect for human rights. To speak more about this, we are joined by member of the Special Investigation, Noor Shihab, to elaborate further on the matter. Under the patronage of His Excellency, the Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buinain a conference was held today titled The Effective Role of National Bodies and Mechanisms in the Protection and Promotion of Human Rights which coincided with the 10th anniversary of the Special Investigation Unit establishment. The conference highlighted the most prominent topics related to the protection and promotion of human rights, including the development stages of Bahraini legislation in the field of human rights protection and the national efforts in this regard. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, inaugurated the 11th Bahrain Exhibition for Pre-Employment Training and Education 2022 and the Education and Labour Market Forum. The exhibition and forum are organised by Medpoint Design and Event Management Company in the presence of its Board of Director, Sheikh Anoura bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of dignitaries, business owners, educational institutions and human resources officials, and with the participation of educational leaders and university presidents from 11 universities in Bahrain. The minister indicated that facing future challenges is not only limited to identifying the professions required in the next stage, but depends on the development of infrastructure and programs that define job specifications and standards, professions, as well as educational and training opportunities. He stressed that university students should familiarize themselves with the government programs regarding the labor market to be aware of the available opportunities in which the private sector will have a pivotal role in creating more employment opportunities for graduates, especially in promising sectors that witness the creations of many new jobs. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil al assoumi called for the launch of joint indicators to measure sustainable development and human rights with an aim to improve the human rights aspect. This came during his speech at the opening of the International Conference on International Solidarity and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. al assoumi stressed that the relationship between achieving the Sustainable Development Plan and respecting and promoting human rights is closely related and that there are many indicators 
indicators that reflect this close relationship. He renewed his call to launch an Arab digital platform for sustainable development, bringing together the Arab Parliament, the Arab League, national parliaments, the private sector and civil society institutions in order to advance Arab efforts concerned with achieving sustainable development goals within the framework of the commitment for promoting and protecting human rights principles.